Hi, Stanton families. I'm going to show you how to log into Canvas, which is DCPS's new online platform for elementary schools. I think the easiest way to get to it is by Googling DCPS Canvas. When you Google that, it will take you straight to this first link, dcps.instructure.com. You can also put that website in, but I think it's easier just to Google it. Then your student will need to log in. This is a login that, unless they used Teams last spring, will probably be new for them. It is their student ID with this long email address ending. So their student ID is their seven or eight digit number. That's also their lunch line or their clever number. So if you if they don't say if they say they don't remember their student ID and you can't find it on any documentation, ask them what their clever ID number was, or sometimes they'll definitely remember if you ask them what their lunch line ID was. Then you have to add at students with an S dot K12 dot DC dot US. That's their full DCPS email address. Then their password is their six digit birthday. So this student's birthday is February. So 02 14th, 2012, 1 2. So just the six digits of their birthday 02 1 4 1 2. No dashes, no hyphens. I always suggest saying yes to these stay sign in questions because hopefully it will make logging in faster the next time. Now, because school hasn't started yet, your students' courses probably won't show up right away until Monday morning. That's what we've heard. But when they, it should show up right here. But if not, go to courses here with a little book. And you should now be able to see which class they will be able to log into on Monday. So yes, this student is logged into my class, but it's just not going to show up till Monday. But when he does log in, it will look like this. You should see your student's grade and that teacher's name and whatever the teacher has added to the page. I have this little picture of my classroom and then some notes to families. But the most important thing is just to click down to Monday for the first day of school. When you click each of those days, it will take you to the daily schedule for that day and you'll get to see like how your the day for your child will flow. Then there will also be, most importantly, this link to join a Microsoft Teams meeting. That will take you to the other app we'll be using every day called Microsoft Teams. When you click on that, that's like clicking straight into a Zoom call or um, you know, another platform that you actually can do the video conferencing on. It will either open up on the web as another tab like this, or if you say yes, it might open up the actual Teams app right straight on the computer. And then this should take you straight into the meeting. So as soon as you say join now, if you have the camera on and the microphone on, your child will be able to see and talk straight to their teacher if they go in at, at 8.30 or after on Monday or any times when class is going. Other things that you might need to, that you, that are really important to know for teams are just the chat function that allows um, the teacher and the students to type to each other. The raise hand shows the teacher that they have a question and Obviously, if they want to turn the, if they need to turn the camera off or when they need to unmute them, mute themselves or unmute themselves. And then this is really important. The share screen function allows the teacher to and everybody in the meeting to see that student's screen. So I use this a lot if the student is having trouble logging in or for me to watch them do work. So it's really important for them to know that little function. When they hit the share screen, the second step is you have to choose, and I almost always tell them to choose desktop. That will allow me to see everything happening on their computer, and it's super helpful um, whenever they're struggling, like getting logged into something. That's it. I hope you have an easy time getting into Teams, and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.